so I am here to do a tutorial on this look right here. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this eyeshadow and the cheeks and the lips today. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Do throughout the video, the lighting's kind of bad, so please bear with me. Towards the end, you can definitely see the look a lot better. And a lot of you requested to do these lips because these are the lips that were in my previous video in the review of the Maybelline Lash Stiletto and you guys were like, oh my god, your lips are so pretty, what's on them? So this is what's on my lips in that video and it's just a little eyeshadow tutorial. It's a little more smoky than I usually do, especially on an everyday basis, but I decided to go a little smokier today. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and keep on watching if you want to learn how to do this face. The first thing we're going to do is apply your primer, use whatever you want, and just put it all over the lid, up to the brow bone, and on the lower lash line. So now that we have that blended out, we're going to use the Sleek Palette. And this, um, my friend sent this for me from the UK, and we did a swap, and she sent me the Sleek Palette. So I'm not sure where you can get this in the States. I don't think you even can. But this is the Storm 578 Palette. And it looks like this. And these are the colors. So the first color we're going to take is the second color right here in the top row. It's the lightest color in the whole palette. And I'm going to put that all over the lid with an e.l.f. brush. The next thing we're going to do is take the third color, the one right next to the lid color, and it's just a matte brown, and we're going to use that as our blending color. I'm using this Coastal Sense Deluxe Crease Brush. Anything fluffy will do, but take that matte brown and then just apply it in the crease as a blender color and bring it up a little bit towards the brow bone. Okay, a step that I forgot to do in the beginning is apply my Benefit Eye Bright as a highlight. I love this stuff. It just brightens your eyes and it lifts up your um, brow bone. Now the next color we're going to take is this dark blue color right here in the bottom row. And we're taking that color with um, a pointed dome brush, sort of. Something that you can um, have a lot of control with. And this is the SS 266, or no, 226, sorry. But we're taking that blue color. And this blue color actually has a lot of fallout. So I'm going to take a paper towel or any kind of tissue and just kind of lay it under my eye to catch the fallout. And what we're going to do is just work this in the outer corner and we're going to kind of create a V to shape that corner and then drag it into the lid. And then the last part of the shadow we're going to take that dark blue color we used in the outer corner and we're going to use like a pencil brush sort of pointed thing <laughs> and just apply that on the lower lash line. And sort of connect it right here in the corner. Alright, so that's it. Um, that was the look that I used with the Sleek palette. And it's the Storm version. It's the Sleek. <laughs> so that's from the UK. I'm not exactly sure where you can get in the US or if you can at all. But if you have connections in the UK or you have friends over there, ask them to pick you up one. Oh, the next thing we're going to do is apply a liquid liner. I'm using the liquid liner I always use, L'Oreal Liner Intense. For the bottom eyeliner, I'm using Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. And this is in zero. Just a black eyeliner. And then I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply CoverGirl Lash Blast. I'm totally sorry about the lighting if it was horrible, but I kind of changed it a little bit so it looks a little better. But this is the entire look, or the eyeshadow look. Now for my cheeks, um, I haven't really decided. I guess I can go for like a more plummy cheek. I'm actually going to, let's see, I'm going to apply a cream blush first. This is the Purple Lab Cream Blush in 6 inch heels. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to take um, a fluffy angle brush and just apply that on my cheekbones. Oh my gosh, this is so pigmented. 
Blend it out, make sure you blend out the cream blush so it doesn't look too harsh. Alright, so we have that cream blush on. You can leave it like this, um, but I like to apply the cream blush as a base sometimes so it keeps my blush staying on. I'm going to use this mineralized blush by MAC. It's called Hot Planet. It was limited edition, but any kind of plummy blush would work. Plummy mauve color. And I'm applying that right on top of the blush. Okay, now a lot of you asked me in my previous video, the video right before this that I posted, it was the review of the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. You guys asked me what was on my lips, and um, this is the combination. It's Max Creme de Nude. It's so little, but it's a crazy nude color. It's way too light for me, as you can see already. But let me just do this to show you guys. Okay, so you guys can tell that this lipstick looks horrible on me, like by itself, especially since I got pretty tan over the summer. But when you apply a corally lip color like this, this is like a matte coral color, but this was limited edition. It was from the Heatherette collection, and it's called Sockop. But any kind of coral color like this would go awesome over a, like a straight nude lipstick like Creme de Nude by MAC. So once I apply that, it turns into this beautiful like nude color. Okay, so that's the entire look. Don't mind what I'm wearing. I'm in like my pajamas, but I want to do this tutorial for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a pretty smoky eye. I don't really wear it. It looks like this too often, but I decided to do it. And I decided to show you guys the lips because all of you loved my lips in my last video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!